Writing your high school resume can feel hard when so much of the advice you find online is geared towards professionals and job seekers. But a high school resume is much different from one for a job, and it's essential to get it right to increase your chances of getting into college or winning scholarships. If you're wondering what to put on your high school resume, you've come to the right place. I'm Anna, a professional career writer here at Resume.io, and in this video, I'll walk you through how to write a high school resume from start to finish with examples that you can use for your own resume. Let's get started. The first step to writing a resume for a high school student starts right at the top of the page. You need to create a header that includes your name and contact information. For students, it's really important to include a professional email address. Some combination of your first and last name is fine. Your header should catch the viewer's attention, but it shouldn't be overly flashy. And if you're in the US or Canada, it should not include a picture of yourself. Inside of Resume.io's Resume Builder, you can easily test out different header styles. The next thing we're going to write is your summary. These three to four sentences describe your high school experiences and accomplishments and your future ambitions. The goal is to include only your most impressive achievements to get the reader to look at the rest of your resume. Make sure to update the summary with the name of each scholarship, college, or job you apply for. Moving down the page, the next section should be your education. Include your high school name, location, and dates attended. Since you're likely still in school, we'll add your estimated graduation date like this. If you're wondering whether you should put your GPA on your resume, the answer is yes, but only if it's a 3.5 or above. Now we get to the big section. On resumes for job seekers, this is called your employment history. But for students, I like to change the title here to experience. That way you can include a wider range of clubs, projects, after school jobs, internships, whatever you've completed during your time in high school. For each entry, the structure is the same. Add the title of your role, the organization name, dates, and location. Then you can create around three bullet points under each one to describe what you accomplished in that role. Try to think of numbers and concrete information to add here, like the amount of money your fundraiser raised, the number of people served in a volunteer position, an award you won, or a leadership position you held. These details will help you impress the reader. But make sure to only go as far back as you've been in high school. And the last section is all about your skills. As a high school student, even with no professional experience, you should still add your best qualities and your areas of interest or even hobbies that are relevant to the field you hope to study. And that's it. You've got everything you need to write a great high school student resume. For extra help, I've linked an adaptable high school student resume example in the description below. And make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest resume tips and career advice for students.